And finally, some of the country's top pilots have been battling for supremacy of the skies without leaving the ground. The Air Aces have been using a brand new computer game to see who's Top Gun. News Round's Nick Gardner reports. Five years before the real plane goes into service, Europe's new multi-role combat aircraft has been turned into a computer game. And this morning, the pilots went head-to-head -to, -head to put the Eurofighter 2000 to the ultimate test. Concord pilot Ken Snell crashed out in the heats, but will he now be swapping his command for something a bit more manoeuvrable? Um, no, I'm very happy where I am, thank you, but uh, I, I would like a little bit more time and experience on this and another go. <laughs> In the end, the final was between Flight Lieutenant Sandy Gordon, who flew in the Gulf War for the RAF, and the Royal Navy's Lieutenant Kevin Seymour, who's been in Bosnia. After a series of tense dogfights, victory went to the Royal Navy. But both pilots thought the game could help would-be aviators. I think hand-eye coordination is very important for a pilot, and this will certainly help to develop that. But anybody who wants to join the Air Force or, or the Navy, uh, they could do worse than practice with this. It, it, it is good and the, the missile simulations are good as well. Uh, as for actually flying it, it's a bit twitchy with joysticks and things as we found out, but uh, yeah, it's excellent, really good. Of course, the one thing to remember about all this is, as with all computer games, it is only a game. And if you start believing that you are a hotshot Top Gun fighter pilot, well, you're going to end up looking pretty silly. If you've ever tried a computer game, you'll know just how realistic they can be. But a company in the Northwest has developed a flight simulator game which has attracted the interest of the RAF. They're now using the device to help train fighter pilots without them ever leaving the ground, which of course saves millions of pounds. Jessica Naden went along to find out how it works. This is the flight simulator game which is so realistic it's actually being used by the people who fly these aircraft in real life. The 3D world of air combat is designed by a Warrington computer games company. They went to the RAF for advice on how to make the simulator more accurate. But the RAF realised the game could be adapted to help train their pilots to use laser-guided bombing systems. They were fitting a laser designation system into the Jaguar at the time and he needed a tool to train the pilots very quickly. And uh, we went away and put it together in about two months. Basically you have to look down at a screen in the cockpit and move a crosshair onto the target at the same time as flying the aircraft. Uh, so this just gives them the confidence that the movements they make with their hands are the right ones as they're flying the aircraft. And that can be critical in an environment like that. The system has already been used preparing pilots to use laser-guided bombing systems in Jaguar fighter planes over Bosnia last year. The modified aircraft were rushed into service and the, the aircraft was mod modified in somewhat less than a year. We then had to develop a training system to teach the pilots to use the, uh, the new technology in the aircraft. Um, basically uh, lots, of, lots of new buttons to press um, and we thought that it would be uh, quite simple to develop a system that uh, simulated the, uh, the button pressing um, and that's what you see here. The RAF uses multi-million pound flight simulator systems to train its fighter pilots. This computer game was developed for around a million pounds. It's only costing the RAF 30,000 pounds to use the adaptation of the bomb laser guided system from this game. It tr probably saved us at least a flying hour uh, per pilot uh, to train him. Uh, a flying hour equated approximately to the cost of the simulator. So it pays for itself over and over again, uh, which we feel is very cost effective and saves the British taxpayer a lot of money. Other NATO air forces are now interested in the bombing simulator, which started as a game but has become a vital tool in the training of fighter pilots. Earlier in the programme, we reported on the improved chances of a deal over the Eurofighter. But the plane also represents a good business for a computer company in Warrington. A computer game based on the Eurofighter is selling so rapidly, the company is expecting to double its workforce. And the RAF is so impressed with the level of realism that the game, that it could be used to train a new generation of top gun pilots. Robin Anderson reports. <laughs> Autopilot disengaged. A God's eye view of a dogfight. Pilot performance monitored from within the cockpit or without, from any angle. Two. I'll engage, you cover. Two. Copy. If the game built on Eurofighter avionics is doing well, 
The same can't always be said of the operators, but at least one's death, too, can be viewed from a respectful distance. To request permission to engage. What this allows you to do is experience what it's like to fly an aircraft like the, uh, the Eurofighter. It allows you to try out the various high-tech weapon systems that the aircraft has. Most importantly, what we've done is recreate what it's like to fly in a real combat environment. There are over 1,500 aircraft in the game, flying for both NATO and the enemy, uh, each reacting independently to what you do or the orders they've been given. And all this takes place in a, a world area that covers Scandinavia and part of Russia, mapped down to a resolution of about eight feet. The game was modelled on declassified information on the Eurofighter gleaned from sources including the internet. British Aerospace, who make the plane, also advised on the game. One thing they have done particularly well is the, is the inside of the, of the cockpit. It does look quite similar to what you would see. Uh, obviously there are certain differences, but it's something I'm not really able to uh, go into in too much depth, because it, it will be classified. It's about detail. In a battlefield program being developed, for example, bombs will leave craters, a level of refinement not found in rival games. The technology excites the RAF. Called in as advisors on the Eurofighter game, they asked the company to design a military training version. It's already enabled Jaguar pilots in Bosnia to achieve NATO's highest accuracy rates on bombing missions. The big advantage of this system is we used to have to train a pilot in the air. Now we can do some of the training on the ground and for each flying hour saved equates to the cost of the system, so it's a great saving for the taxpayer. Another attraction for the military, a simulation can be developed in nine months, compared with the military norm of five years, which means many systems are outdated by the time they're complete. But the entertainment market is still the company's core business. A hundred thousand games have been sold since the launch before Christmas. It's not usually the kind of game I'd buy, but for the type of game it is, it's quite good. It's got Perfect flight model and graphics and everything. Well, it's a brilliant game, it's got everything you need, and I can't be a real pilot because I'm colorblind and short sighted, so everything that I would like to fulfill in life I can do in the computer game. The workforce has expanded from 2 to 52 in six years. It's expected to double this year. Robin Anderson, Northwest Tonight in Warrington. <laughs>